Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. We are in the midst of what looks to be, at least in the, the extended forecast, the last humid night for uh, the next several days. We've got this cold front coming through, which, yes, will provide some showers and maybe a few thunder showers for the first part of our Sunday. But behind that, cooler temperatures, we get rid of the humidity, and we have some uh, crisp fall-like mornings to enjoy over the course of the next couple days, primarily the start of the week. But we'll get more into that here in just a moment. But outside right now, again, it is a quiet night for most of us, but you can see with the lights. Uh, shining and illuminating those overcast skies. The clouds have thickened up from our Ellis Park Tower camera looking at the twin bridges there uh, towards the city of Henderson. Downtown Evansville from our Superior Ag Tower camera along the uh, Evansville Riverfront showing calm conditions as well. And finally on the east side of Evansville, traffic kind of thinning out here late on this Saturday night. That's the view from our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera high atop a Deaconess uh, Gateway Hospital uh, looking towards the east side of Evansville. Temperatures at the airport in Evansville 75 but yet again we've seen this trend again today rising a couple degrees for the dew points now at 68 and that's getting close to borderline very humid categories but again with temperatures in the 70s doesn't feel quite as uncomfortable or oppressive and very calm winds uh, as well. But once we get those uh, that cold front moving through and the showers out of the area tomorrow night, we're going to spend most of next week well into the 50s for those dew points. So right now in the humid category, we're going to be off the charts in the 50s uh, for some very pleasant and comfortable air that's going to be moving in as early as tomorrow night. Still kind of uncertain as to how fast that cooler, drier, less humid air will filter in. Uh, but certainly by the time you wake up and go back out to, to work in school Monday morning, it's going to feel very pleasant to start next week. Temperatures right now for the mo most part in the 70 to 75 degree range. One location across the Wabash already into the 60s. Fairfield coming in at 69 degrees. And we're going to be all falling through through the low 70s and settle somewhere into the mid to upper 60s to maybe around 70 degrees by daybreak tomorrow morning. Outside right now, most of us are dry. These returns around the Evansville area and the radar site up in Gibson County, those are false returns, some more moisture in the atmosphere. But what is moving to the north, that obviously is reaching the ground. So a little bit of uh, shower activity and some pockets of more moderate rainfall moving through Patesville along uh, Route 69 there in southern Hancock County and just clipping the southeastern tip there of Davis County. County moving through Whitesville right now. And then we do have a light shower that's progressing and moving uh, in eastern and now approaching northeastern Posey County between Mount Vernon and the west side of Evansville. And that continues to move up to the north. And that's a trend that will be possible. Some nighttime guidance here this evening wants to kind of increase uh, the chances of showers and storms after midnight. I think it's still going to be very hit or miss. So uh, definitely not a washout tonight. And even the rain chances as they increase tomorrow, you can see some breaks in the activity. Uh, some pockets of downpours, but often on showers. So not an all-day rain uh, for your Sunday, but I think things pick up as we approach sunrise and the lunch hour. And then there's that cold front leading with another broken area of showers and storms. Here we are by 2 o'clock, but watch as we get close to sunset and beyond sunset. 7.30 tomorrow night, we are dry, and Future Tracker really gets the clouds out of here as well. But it is going to be a below-normal day. Highs in the low to mid-70s, maybe a few upper 70s to close to 80 uh, down along the Western Kentucky Parkway. We'll see the clouds uh, break out, but then a cutoff low pressure system breaks off from that main cold front for Monday. We should stay dry, uh, but you can see the cloud cover coming off of that. So at least the mix of sun and clouds Monday, temperatures well below average in the low to middle 70s, and those lows 50 to 55 as well. Before tonight, we'll be stuck in the 60s. High temperatures again with the clouds and rain, and behind that cold front, stuck in the 70s for tomorrow. Your 70 forecast shows those conditions uh, really picking up in terms of the comfortable conditions. We are a little on the windy side Monday, but low humidity, well below normal temperatures. And again, check out those morning and nighttime temperatures, 50 to 55 Monday morning and again Tuesday morning, even still in the 50s by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. And even as we get warmer, feeling temperature-wise more like summer, uh, we start to uh, get close to 90 possibly by next weekend, but the humidity, Ryan, still very pleasant, very comfortable. So a very fall-like start to the upcoming week. All right, well, I guess we are heading into the middle of September. That's right, yeah. It's Tis happened. the season. Has to happen sometime. All right, well, thank you, Cody.